Excellent. Um, I want to thank Kyle for uh, inviting me. Um, I want to present today some uh, a, a project that uh, I have been leading in the dark at HPE for a couple of years, and we've come out of the dark. And uh, Kyle and I met at a um, workflow workshop in August, and this is based on some of the uh, follow-up work uh, that we identified from there. Um, so I want to introduce Dragon. So this that's the project that I've been leading. Um, it's a, uh, a bit of technology we've been developing a couple of years at Cray and then HPE. It's a distributed runtime for managing processes, memory, data at scale. It's really you know thought about from an HPC app, uh, performance perspective first. And what we were trying to build is is actually uh, quite initially targeted at the uh, Python multiprocessing API. The idea was. Let's build a, an infrastructure that allows that API to scale transparently with like HPC performance across many, many nodes. And then we wanted to grow beyond that to support other um, languages and uh, other APIs as well. And Parcel is one of those APIs that we've recently been uh, adapting the runtime into. Um, just a couple other notes on it. It's a self-contained runtime with very minimal dependencies. Uh, there's a link there to our open source repo. Um, almost everything that we've developed is there. There's a few things that we haven't migrated into there yet. Um, I will be showing some data from, from some stuff that hasn't found its way there yet. But um, we're, we're brand new to the scene and, and are looking forward to uh, interacting with, with all of you through the, through the parcel collaborations. Um, and so what I'm going to show today is a uh, parcel uh, executor based on Dragon. Um, it's been implemented at multiprocessing, but then also uses um, some of our own native APIs uh, for scalability reasons and for MPI support. I'll show that in a minute. Um, so I'll start off with the Python app. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I'm happy to share my slides, but this is the URL to the code that is the uh, Python app executor. Um, I'll jump straight to the to the benchmarking results on it, because as a HPC first sort of runtime, that's the thing that we want to be able to shine on. Um, on the left here is an image processing benchmark that, that we like to run a lot. Um, it, it, it's sort of just an embarrassingly parallel um, uh, maps directly into Python app, um, but also can just uh, map right into multiprocessing.pool. And we've got a couple of lines here. The key thing is that um, um, at, at uh, you know, I'm just calling out one particular data point um, at 16 nodes with 2,048 workers. Um, this particular benchmark uh, is tuned up so that each bit of compute only takes one second to execute. So there's we can compute an ideal uh, execution time. And if I look at the at the 16 node re results, I've got um, the the base multiprocessing.pool implementation in Dragons in that light blue. Um, and then uh, Parcel is sort of that purple color that's kind of towering above over 20 seconds. And then our Parcel plus Dragon executor is that purple line is that the other arrow is pointing to. We can't yet. We've only been working on this kind of uh, the last couple of weeks, but we haven't quite gotten it down to meet the uh, multiprocessing.pool performance that we get in Dragon, but we're getting closer. So at that at that particular data point um, for this for this configuration with one megabyte sort of inputs and outputs being communicated to and from the workers, we're seeing about a 3.2x performance improvement. The other thing that Kyle and Ben sort of encourage us to do is to take a look at the um, the, the no op, um, you know, don't do anything function kind of throughput as a measurement of the overhead of, of our solution. So we, we we took that same benchmark that we've run for the image processing and just had it accept none and return. I think the number 42 is a joke. And um, this is what we ended up getting for throughput as we scaled up. You know, neither solution really sees um, uh, um, gain in performance with scale. This is kind of a, a known thing about a benchmark like this. If you have uh, workers that are sort of greedily grabbing um, uh, work, they tend to be on the same node as the producer. Um, but we do see some, some capability. I think the main result, though, is that we are seeing about a 1.7x improvement in the throughput, um, the no-op throughput of the Dragon executor over the, the base high throughput executor. A uh, couple of notes on this. You know, we did run this on a Cray EX system. Um, one of the things I mentioned about our open source is not everything's there yet, and we are using a capability that is not there yet. This is um, we have a couple of different transport agents in our architecture. I don't have time to go into the architecture. Um, our our documentation on the GitHub page 
um, goes into this in great detail, but we have both a TCP based and an RDMA enabled transport for managing communication and the runtime. And this was measured with the RDMA enabled transport. The uh, benchmark in particular that we ran again is, is kind of is, is provided at this at this link here. The other thing I want to show is um, uh, the other thing we did in the last couple of weeks is put together a um, prototype MPI app. Um, so it was really nice to see Yadu's uh, presentation. I didn't actually know exactly what what uh, his was going to be. So this was sort of just us independently coming up with a solution. Dragon itself uh, already can do um, complex um, MPI application management. It does so by, uh, it actually doesn't use the launcher. It, it has its own process management infrastructure. And what it does is it has to interact with uh, the underlying PMI layer and uh, to inform the application about its layout. Mm -hmm. uh, so on the left here is, is what the, the, the prototype decorator um, you know, looks like. So we've got a, a function decorated with MPI app. This particular one's gonna run this executable called factorial, which is just a MPI application that's gonna uh, generate a fact, you know, run, produce the factorial of the given input. What's, what's interesting here though, is it, you can pass along MPI arguments and that's what's happening. Um, but another thing about this, we have a different way in Dragon that um, to sort of define resource layout. We refer to it as policy. This is an area where that we're going to collaborate and try to sort out exactly how we can map into the APIs that are ultimately settled on for parcel. But this is how we capture things about like what nodes processes should be on, what affinity, what GPUs, all of that kind of stuff is baked into this policy class. And then there's layering of policies like default policy versus specific ones. Are there um, seconds there, Pete? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you repeat what you said? Giving you time. Time. Okay. Time thank you. On. All right. Um, and then uh, on the right here is what a use case using that would look like. I think the key thing also to add is you could have direct connections to the standard in, out, and error of any process of the MPI application. So it's just showing how we can communicate uh, with, at least in this case, rank zero. And the bottom showing it running. So this could have run you know, multiple app, uh, MPI apps at the same time. I'll finish up here. Um, we have the GitHub repo again there with the documentation. Um, that's our, our email address if you'd like to reach out or you can reach out to me um, in particular. Uh, there's a number of, of opportunities to continue building upon what we've done so far um, for, uh, for Parcel. A couple of the key things would be uh, we have a, uh, we're building out a telemetry um, infrastructure that um, I think would be uh, of great interest for Parcel. We also have this proxy for doing multi-site um, uh, that I think would plug uh, pretty well into Parcel as well. And I'll end here um, and just note, uh, if you wanna, um, we'll also be at the uh, uh, HPPPS or HPPSS workshop at SC23. So hope to see you there. Thank you. Any questions? So uh, first of all, this is super cool. Uh, I'm really thrilled at the performance numbers you're getting. So in case Greg didn't already raise his hand, I am curious about the performance differences. Um, it seems very large for Parcel when you've got data movement. Um, have you done any other kinds of explorations to see if that kind of like size of data transfer is what can really give Dragon a boost over the base Parcel? So we've only been at this for a couple of weeks, but so far that has been the indication. Sort of the larger the 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 uh, thing being communicated, the further ahead. Um, because we're based, we have an RDMA transport. The sort of further ahead we 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 gain, and there's a bunch of zero copy things we do and stuff like that. So that's our suspicion. But there's this is really just the the start of us investigating. You know the areas where we might shine and help out. All right, that's really cool. Yeah, thanks for presenting on this. Now, on the NOAA performance, Pete, <clears throat> the numbers for parcel make sense. I think a thousand parts per second. So how do you how do you get the 1.7 and Jamie, you might have a question this. How do you get the 1.7x performance improvement? Jamie, how much of that should be gated by the DFK? Um, so I haven't we haven't measured carefully exactly, you know, what is it about our solution that's providing that that better performance. I mean, I have a bunch of 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 ideas there, in particular, again, back to how we do communication. It's just kind of a lower latency mechanism. That's my suspicion, but uh, we've we've got to dig into that more to understand it. I think these numbers make sense because you can get up to like thirty five hundred tasks per second. From the DFA, right? Yeah. Okay. 
they're, they're probably the idea laid back. Right. Very cool, though, Pete. Really, really impressive. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you.